Hits 11 and TMC are teaming up to keep your family safe this summer and with the hotter days here to stay, COVID-19 is causing more families and friends to turn to private pools. Our Brooke Chaplin has more on the pool barrier laws you need to know. With the dog days of summer still in full swing and more families enjoying a splash at home to stay safe, teaching the importance of water safety is even more important. And if your new home includes a new pool, it's time to get in the know about pool safety and rules. Probably the most important thing is, is know what's around the pool. What's around your pool is critical and pool barriers are needed. In fact, Eric Gibbs, a local realtor, tells me all homes in Tucson and Pima County need to have barriers in place because the law requires it. But what do those barriers look like? If you have a sliding glass door or if you have a window that's facing the pool, it has to have some type of audio roll, alarm, a latch. Uh, the sliding glass door should have some type of self-closing door with a latch above it so that the child can't bring it down to open the door, um, those kind of things. In addition to locks, latches, and alarms, you should also have a gate around your pool that's at least five feet high and has no openings, handholds, or footholds a child can use to climb. But it's important to remember, barriers only do so much. The key thing here is making water safety a priority. To always take it seriously and watch the children in the pool because it, it happens in a moment's notice. It just happens, you know, you, you turn your head and look back and something's changed. So before you and your family cool off this summer, remember safety first and fun second. Reporting in Tucson, Brooke Chaplin, Fox 11 News.